Tina just texted me and she said, you better be brilliant. I know there's people in this room that can make it better. I do. I know there's people in this room who are brave enough to try something different or you wouldn't be here. I know the measure of a true leader is not about you. It doesn't make any difference that I'm a chief executive. The measure of a true leader is being able to reach down and under and pull those who are less able along with you. So I want you to close your eyes. And I want you to imagine what the best country in the world would look like for our people. And then I want you to take a deep breath. And I want you to go forward relentlessly. Thanks very much. Thank you. Wow. I'm, I, it, is, it is such a pleasure and an honor to be here. And um, I, I'm, I'm going to try not to be nervous about the, um, you know, the expectations and the hype and all that kind of stuff. But, um, you know, I, I wanted for, for this conversation to really be able to share with you all a bit about um, kind of my experience with moving through the movement. And, uh, you know, tomorrow I'll have a chance to uh, talk and do a big PowerPoint and share with a larger audience. But today I wanted to have hopefully what feels like a little bit of an intimate conversation uh, for all of you who I know are in the trenches, on the ground, doing this work every single day, um, so that hopefully maybe a little bit of uh, my experience and we've, what we've done with our team can um, uh, be of some service or some use to you as you are doing this amazing work here in Scotland. We don't all need to be the be-all and end-all, right? We can say, let's coordinate amongst each other, right, amongst ourselves. We'll say, who's going to take what? And, and figure out we each do our little piece, and we do it informed with this basis of a shared understanding of agenda and agenda of what we're all trying to solve for, right? a recognition of how ACEs affect kids developing brains and bodies, and every single one of us does our part to be part of the solution. And then hopefully that reduces that feeling of overwhelm and you realize, you know what? I don't have to do everything. I just have to do my little piece. I'm gonna practice some self-care so I can do it for a really long time. And I'm gonna coordinate with others so that I can make sure that every child has the opportunity to have the, just the potential to grow up, to live out their God-given potential. So I want to say thank you guys so much for listening to me. I know we have another wonderful speaker, and I'm just very, very much looking forward to this conversation. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Eugene Foothouse. Thank you. And I agree 100% with Nadine. Keep politicians out of it. Okay? When we started the patient safety program, and we started the Early Years Collaborative in Scotland. I was the chief medical officer. And the classic way of making policy is to get experts in a room, have them talk for six months, have a paper presented to a minister who will then decide we'll do X. When we did the Early Years Collaborative, we said to ministers, we'll tell you when we want you. Away you go. They weren't allowed to come and see it at work. And then eventually, when John Swinney came, he came to give a 15-minute speech. He stayed for four or five hours. And he left saying, I've never, this is the most amazing public sector reform I've ever seen. 
few years onwards, we'd reduced stillbirth rate by 17%, reduced infant mortality by 15%. We did that by the people at the bottom, people delivering services, deciding what they wanted to do, testing it, and then spreading the learning. We need to create a culture in Scotland of nurturing families. And we do that from the bottom up. When I... A, a, ve a very senior politician in the Scottish government with whom I worked for several years, she once said of me that my management style was proceed until apprehended. Okay? <laughs> That's what we need to do. Just do stuff. And when it works, tell everyone about it. When it doesn't work, tell everyone about it so they don't make the same mistakes. But try things and share and things will really begin to move and will create that narrative that says we can do things. Look, people will come on from all over the world to see how Scotland has done it. So what